What's up everybody, HTG Brian back with some more LEGO 2K Drive. In today's video, we're gonna cover all heroes journey locations, which happens to be 15 mushrooms. Not really sure why they chose Hero's Journey. Maybe you guys can inform me down in the comments. But first, let's give a big shout out to Tyler P for finding all of the collectibles scattered throughout, providing me with great maps so I could turn them into great videos. Now, speaking of videos, if you're uh, maybe missing one or two or just want to go ahead and skip through my commentary, we have quick links down below in the video description to help you get from collectible to collectible. Now, here we are in Hotsboro. We're going to actually be up in the kind of the upper right-hand corner or the uh, Thumby Head area to start with, right? Am I wrong when I say that this outline of Hansboro sort of reminiscently looks like Thumby? I mean, maybe I'm just reaching out pretty far, but we're going to start by going ahead and launching into Unky's Emporium or the garage in the northeast corner. And right to the left-hand side of it is going to be our first mushy. We'll go ahead and grab that and get all big and plumped up, right? Oh, wait, this isn't Super Mario Brothers. And I wondered if that was maybe part of the connection, but I'm not quite sure. If I missed something in the story or you know something about why they chose the hero's journey to be mushrooms, let me know down in the comments below. That would be greatly appreciated. All right, so we're going to cut over and across this nice little on-the-go starting spot. We're going to drop down and go through a log. And on the left-hand side, basically we've just gone around the giant hill. We could have gone to the left maybe, but uh, a little bit of a high ground here. So we went out and around and came up the road there. Booyah Kashao, we're going to get rushed by a bunch of skellies. Watch out for that. However, this is a great place if you have not died 100 times. Those skellies will rip your car apart pretty fast, but we'll probably come back for a video on that later. All right, number three is going to be uh, over around the way. We're going to jump off the side ledge here. I'm still a little bit uh, careful about where I go because I don't want to smash into any of those golden pumpkins or perhaps some of the bats. So we've got some of those batty, 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 boom, boom, boom. All right, up top here, if I can get up there, next to a uh, weed farm here. Not, not that kind of weed farm. Uh, we got a big patch of weeds, and I'm trying to turn around, but this car is not working for me. There we go. Finally got it. Nailed it. First try. All right, three done did, and on to number four. So uh, we're still using our clockwise motion up there. And look at that. See, there's right there, there's a glowing orange. That could have been one of those golden pumpkins. I don't know. We'll have to come back and check that out later. This guy's just chilling on the dock. Maybe doing some fishing? I'm not exactly sure, but we'll go ahead and hop up. That's right. Hip it to the hopper all the way to the top of the docker. <laughs> no? Boo? All right. I'm trying. I'm trying. It was an attempt anyways. All right. We're going to follow the waterway all the way around this giant, uh, well, it's a massive land here. And on the back side over here, hiding out on a taller mushroom. That's right. There is number five. Number five's alive. We'll go ahead and jump up there. Now keep in mind too that some of the vehicles may not have as good a hops as this one, or you may even have the double jump perk on. Double jump perk's gonna allow you to probably get higher than a single jump, but uh, at the same time, it's not the same. So you might wanna mess with that, or if you're having troubles, I would definitely look into switching cars or changing out the perk. All right, up at the top of this log, I guess it's more of a root. From the Ruta to the Tuta, we'll go ahead and climb up and booyaka shao. Number six is officially in the bag. Now we're going to go ahead and head around, uh, well, kind of around. We're going to go south, and we're going to follow the waterway for a wee bit. And then we'll cut into the mainland here once we get past this little village in between the two trees. There's sort of a, a stump, if you will. It's a pretty tall stump and a tree. We're going to go right up over the hill here. And as we come down, there is a log on our left. And right behind that log, <laughs> is mushy number seven all right we'll go ahead and swoop that up for the record i want to uh just go ahead and send a shout out to anyone who's still listening to this audio who has not pressed the mute i'm feeling myself this morning <laughs> so anyways just trying to have fun with it hopefully you guys are too next up we're gonna head almost dead south of where we are and head back over to the swamp what are you doing in my swamp we're gonna actually drive right up the side here. There's multiple ways to get up here, so don't feel like you have to follow this exact route. In fact, you can even go all the way around and come at it from, uh, well, from the far left side. And, and uh, it's around that big stump on our left, and you can come at it from a completely different angle. We found this angle to be the best, though. And look at that. Woo to the hoo-hoo. We got it, and hopefully you did, too. Next up, number nine. Again, we're still just moving south. 
This one's going to be uh, right in between two bodies of water, or patches of water, I should say. And so we're going to go ahead and make our way to the marker now. Just like always, sometimes these markers are a little bit off, so once we get there, we'll give a precise look at where we is on the map. So don't worry about the location. And look at that, it's inside this giant... I don't know, what, what's going on here? This tree has uprooted itself, but it's still alive. So uh, we're going to go right in the middle of it. It's kind of like, uh, like a little hobbit house. Anyways, moving along. We've got some more stuff coming up here. Uh, number 10 is actually going to be just south at the back side. This one's kind of tricky. It's uh, on a little tiny body of land, and it's got sort of a large rock on it. And on the back side, tucked into a little alcove, is going to be our mushy in question here. So uh, whip it around. There you go. So if you're coming this way, if you're, like, if you're heading north, it's actually really easy to see. You probably can't miss it. But if you're heading south down that same line that we've been traveling, it's easily missed. So next one, though, not so easy. You can see it from here. In fact, we'll go ahead and mark it on the road there and give a quick little boost. Actually, no, no boost. And right next to the little house here. We'll go ahead and swoop up number 11. So making good ground on all of this. And da, 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 da. All right, taking the scenery here. So we got a nice, beautiful waterfall on our left. All right, now down below, there's like a, uh, looks like a racetrack almost. We're going to go ahead and make our way there. Now, if you look at the map right now on the compass on the left, there is a road. We're following that road down and around past the old on the go. As soon as we get past that, though, we're going to cut right for our waypoint marker which takes us right to, quite possibly, one of the largest stumps in the game. Nah, not really. There's some pretty big stumps here, so. All right, so we'll make our way up the old stumpy poo. All right, thank you. Next up, we've got another green mushy straight ahead, in fact. Uh, there's two of them. We can see one of them from here, but the one we're going for next is actually out of sight. So we'll go ahead and mark it on our map. Make our way up and over off that stump, back down into the waterways. And there happens to be a giant bridge with a uh, nice piece of land at the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and drive on that because mushy number 13 is chilling, waiting for us. That's right, lucky 13, waiting. Now we're going to whip it to the right. And look at that, right up at the top of the hill, right next to that on-the-go starting point, is going to be number 14. Pretty sweet stuff. Look at that, I, I should have gone to the right. Whip it all the way around. <laughs> Which way did it go? Which way did it go? Look at that. They made a nice little driving path right to it. So go ahead and swoop around and chomp it down. Woohoo! All right, one left. This one is actually uh, pretty easy to find. In fact, we're going to back out on our map. And if you notice, there's a road that sort of looks like an open ended wrench. We're going to go ahead and mark that right in the middle and bust on through the cave. We're going through to the other side. That's right, we're gonna go ahead and blast away, hit a hard left coming out the gate here. And you should have a visual on it almost immediately. Look at that bad boy just waiting there, get ready, get ready. We'll take a quick peek at the map first, obviously, duh. All right, here we go, woo to the hoo 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 hoo. All right, so we got all 15 of those mushies and the hero's journey is co 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 complete. We get some uh, drive pass stuff, we get some dollars, we get some XP, which I believe we're maxed out on. Yep, we certainly are. And of course, that's one less collectible. We got one, two, three, four more is all before we're 100 percent it. So feeling good about that? Hopefully you are too. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell as well. Check us out at happythumbsgaming.com. But as for me, guys, that's going to do it. I got some more collecting to go do. So as always, until next time.